Hello and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Thanks so much for joining us for this episode. We are looking at the Hereford save. We just started the save a few episodes ago, like I think this is episode two, if I remember correctly. You will know because you'll say on the little thumbnail thing. Um, yeah, so we have just started a new season. Uh, the first episode we just went and looked at what tactic we're going to use. Second episode, I looked a little bit at the staff and the structure of the club. And in this episode, I'm going to introduce you to the team. Now, if you are familiar with Hereford as a club, you'll notice that all of these players, bar maybe two, are original Hereford uh, players. I've not changed anything, um, except I did get rid of two players and I um, replaced them with two new players. So. Let's have a look at the squad. As you'll notice, I've already started the, the season a little bit, but we'll take a look at that in a second. Now, starting at goalkeeper, I went for Vinovisa, Dinovisa, a uh, South Afri uh, African goalkeeper that's presently at Hereford. He joined Hereford on a free transfer this summer, so it's brand new. And as his backup, we have Brad Wade, 22-year-old, uh, who also joined Hereford on a free transfer this summer. Uh, there was another goalkeeper on the horizon, Dale Eve, but I actually decided to not use him. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him or release him. He's on a free contract anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, all of them are new players to Hereford anyway, so not much history behind them. Now, Jarrett Ho Ho uh, Hodgkiss, he's been in Hereford for a while now. Um, he actually played for Hereford uh, in the FA Cup. Uh, not FA Cup, sorry, the FA Trophy um, final in real life. And uh, yeah, so let's keep him as a right fullback alongside Zach Lilly, who couldn't play as a centre um, defender, but I decided to keep as a right fullback as well. Now, Zach is also brand new to the club. On the left side of the fence, we have Jack Evans, um, who. Um, is quite young and also very new to the club and our first new player so where is he Joe Brown so this is a player that I went and found myself and uh, just as a backup for that left side of the fence he was at Bolton previously um, I'll take you to the players that I released as well um, in a moment in the center of defense we have four players uh, starting with uh, Jordan Thompson, who was here originally at the club, brand new to Hereford. It looks like Hereford went through like a complete redesign of their squad this this year for some reason. Uh, Luke Haynes, also brand new at the club. Oh no, he's not. Ah, I thought he was brand new, but obviously not. Uh, he's going to be performing um, part of the central defence. And then, as a backup, we have Orin Penley, brand new to the squad apparently, and another one of my own players that I went and found, Harrison Burke, I found. He's pretty good from a physical perspective, and everything else to be honest, for this level. And he uh, played at Chester before, as well. Uh, now, all the other players you will be familiar with, if you're familiar with Hereford. So, uh, we have um, Jan Klukowski, who's actually our assistant manager as well. He's going to be playing as a ball-winning midfielder in the uh, defensive role uh, in the midfield. And also in that role, we're going to have Jethro Hansen. Hansen. Um, he's brand new to the club. Uh, now we have two players that have been with Hereford a while, I think. Ryan Lloyd, that definitely has been with Hereford before, I do remember him. He's going to play as a Mazala uh, for us. He's been at the club for three seasons. And I think Harry's been at the club as well for, for a while. He's also going to be playing in that position as a backup. Uh, then we are, have Kane Thompson Summers for the midfielder, left midfielder position, left winger position. position. I'm pretty sure he's been at the club before. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I thought I recognised his name from previous saves, but obviously not. Maybe I did go and get it myself in previous saves. And for that same role, we have someone who's currently on loan at Hereford, Thierry Lati Fairweather. Also for that uh, left winger position. At the right of attack, we have Jack Holmes. And 
we also have uh, Ryan McLean. I think his name is. Yeah, Ryan McLean. Uh, who's been at the club for a while. And then in attack, we actually are going for a two striker tactic. We have Aaron and Maddie Holloway, who's pretty much a, like a star player for Hereford. He's brand new to the club, so obviously, hopefully they he'll be doing great things for us. He's already scored two goals in three matches. He's been tired recently, so I'm giving him a rest in this next match. So he's playing in the target, uh, target man support role, I think. I put him in. I can't remember now. What's the, where's the tactics? Uh, target forward support role. There we go. And also in that position, we have Tyrone uh, Barnett as a backup. And then on the poacher side of things, we have uh, James Canton. Catton. Also new to the club, and Lekan Osideko, who I don't recognize from being at the club before. And yeah, also new to the club, so not many players have stayed, it seems. Uh, previously, for previous uh, years of Hereford. Um, now, there are other players in the under 18s, etc. We have players here that you might or may, may or may not recognize from being at the club before. Harrison Summers, Jack Jones. He's been at the club before. Ryan Price, also at the club before. And currently under offer Harley Morrison, also at the club before. And the under 21s, we had the goalkeeper that I mentioned earlier, but also Seb Osmet, another goalkeeper who's a youngster. And uh, Justin Campbell as well. Justice Campbell. So that's the whole team. Now in transfers, I'll show you the, t the guys that I signed out. Uh, da, 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 transfer history uh, signed out by me. Signed out by me. There have been three players so far. Miles Story. He was just a surplus player at the right of attack, essentially, which I didn't need. So I decided to cash in on him, and he's gone to Gateshead for 2.3k. And then these are two youngsters that um, we got offers for, and I decided not to challenge those offers. So I just let him go on a free contract. So Mark Derrick uh, Derricot went to Redditch, and Freddie Fox. Um, also, I didn't challenge the contract. Need him market. And there we go. Uh, all of our transfers were free transfers with two loans. Um, that's for Hereford because I've only actually done two transfers: uh, Joe Brown and Harrison Burke. There we go. As far as the league goes, we were expect. We are expected to finish 12th. We are at the moment in first place with three wins, three uh, three goal difference. And if we look at the schedule, when one nil against Spennymore, who are currently in seventh, two one against Scarborough Athletic, who are currently 18th, one nil against Chester, who are currently 15th, and up next we're going to play Buxton, who are currently 12th. Uh, we are playing at home. We might play one or two matches in this episode. Let's just see how the time goes on. So let's go into it. I, I've, I'm not playing with the first team completely. Just because there are some people that need rests. One thing that I did behind the scenes without um, recording is I completed the stuff. So I've got all the stuff that I want now. I added a under 21s team just because why not. And I stuffed it out as well. And the same thing with the stuff on the under 18 side of things. So everything's underway. I keep asking the board for things. Um, and I went and tailored all the individual training for all of these players. So they all have or should have. Maybe not the goalkeepers. I, I did do the goalkeepers, but I didn't give them um, player traits. But they should all have a position they're working on. Uh, an additional focus they're working on, and most players also have a player trait that they're working on. So, that's all going underway. And without further ado, let's jump into a match and see how it goes. So we are playing a Route 1 system, pretty much um, unchanged from what the vanilla sort of um, Route 1 system is on F F um, FM. 
this is another reason why uh, the channel is called Vanilla FM. I play without any edits, um, tweaks, and without any sort of cheats and uh, additions and packs and stuff like that. So this is just, if you buy the game and play it, this is what it looks like. I uh, made no changes to the database or the graphics or, you know, nothing, nothing at all. Here we go, so we are 1-0 down already within the first 7 minutes from a pretty straightforward goal to be honest. The goalkeeper into attack directly, Finley kind of snapping there. Here we go. The only thing that I changed to the Route 1 system was um, the shape, so we, we are playing with two attackers, which I think comes in, the root, in one of the Route 1's variety. Um, and the whole uh, asymmetric uh, layout that we have. So we have uh, a normal four at the back, uh, but then we have a defensor, def a defending uh, midfielder on the right side of the center, uh, midfielder in the left side of the center, and then we have a winger on the midfielder position on the left, and a winger on the attacking midfield position on the right. So a slightly asymmetrical midfield. Now, as you will have noticed, I chose the very tiniest dimensions for our pitch. Uh, I always go for that. I don't know really why I do that, but I always do that. Um, I think it makes it harder for players to find space, but it also means they have to run less. Maybe they get less tired? I don't know. I don't know. So we are right in the middle of winter here and now in real life as I'm recording this I'm looking out into a scene of white from my window. Everything's f nicely frozen and I'm holding on to a bottle of water, hot water. Um, and I've got a nice blanket as well. Hope you're staying warm if you're watching this. Now, um, so this is an experiment I'm running with Hereford. I always play with Hereford, always do the same. The only thing I'm doing different this time is that I'm not allowing myself to do transfers before January. In, by that I mean I'm not redesigning the whole squad before January. So come January this season, I'm going to look at the whole market of players available to me and I'm going to replace the players that are currently in Hereford with players that I found myself. Uh, if I so wish to. Um, probably the only player that I won't change, to be honest, is uh, Aaron Amati Holloway. He's quite good. And possibly Jack Evans, because it's quite hard to pl find players in that position for this league. But um, most other players, I would imagine, will go. Uh, that way I give the current Hereford squad a chance to do something and they're doing pretty well at the moment. I mean we are... we haven't lost yet. So that's gotta mean something. So if you want to support this um, save and this experiment that I'm running then you can subscribe and also get notifications and you can also check out Patreon and all of those links in the description as well. There's lots of ways for you to support what I'm doing here. As um, as you know, it's um, recording and saving FM is a bit time consuming. And even though I love doing this, um, you know, I do have to put time aside to record the episodes and stuff. I like FM because um, it's one of those, I don't know if you do this or not, you might be listening and, and, and never thought of it, but it's one of those games that you can leave running and not actually, you know, be actively playing. You can go get yourself a cup of tea or, 
you know, do something in the background or like multitask while it's going through a match or whatever. Especially if you're the type of coach that doesn't really like interacting much with the players during a match. Uh, you can just let it do its thing and then come and check out the end what the score is, that kind of thing. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you are also the type of person that multitasks and walks away from the game when um, there's a match going. And then the plan after this episode is for me to um, probably progress until January and then show you what the changes are. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what kind of. I'm just recording these episodes as and when I have time. Uh, so um, in the meantime, I'll carry on playing the game. But then I'll come back at some sort of appropriate moment somewhere around January, maybe slightly before. I might do one more episode before I make the changes. Um, or not. Uh, or I'll just come back after I've made the changes and I can sh show you what my squad is like for Hereford uh, in that uh, January, February sort of time scale. So we've seemed to have come back here. We're pressing for another goal. I'm not sure if we're going to get it or not, but doing pretty well at the moment. And he comes attack. Oh, that's gone wide. Very good. Very good. All right. Here goes counter attack. This is route one. Route one in action. Ah, oh, defended. Very good. It was offside anyway, apparently. That's the end of the game, and we won our third, fourth match, consecutive match. Okay. I think that I'll give you one more match, maybe, and then we'll call it a day for this episode. I've basically automated all of the scouting and stuff, so it's just all happening in the background without my input. I'm very much hands-off in that kind of stuff. Uh, especially now that the game is a bit better at dealing with scouting. And uh, no, I want to carry on. They've got some concerns about strength and attack, but I don't. I think I've, we've got four strikers and lots of... Um, Lots of options there, so I'm perfectly happy. Hopefully, they don't become too unhappy with things. And I can I can always, um, you know, buy some players if they get unhappy. So that's okay. Harley Morris did go to um, Haybridge, so we are losing some of our youth players, but that's fine because they're not brilliant anyway, and I'm not planning to use them or develop them in any way. So. Okay. Let's see if I can ask the board for anything else more exciting. No, okay. Okay, there's, here, there goes another one. Jack Jones also getting poached by someone. I'm not going to challenge that contract, so we'll just see what happens. Close to match day now. And we're going to play Banbury. I've never heard of this club. Have they changed? Is Are they a new club or have they just changed the logo or something? Never heard of Banbury. Okay. Team selection. We are going to stay with uh, Dino on goal. And Hotchkiss. Now here we're probably going to take... Uh, let me think. Uh, actually, yeah, they're doing, they're doing alright, I'll leave them, even though 
Thompson is supposed to be in that. But I'll leave it. Uh, these guys have been doing well, so I'm reluctant to make many changes. I can stay. Or you can stay. You can stay too. You can stay too. Uh, I'm gonna bring hallway back. And and I'm gonna bring Catton back. So let me just check these now. So we've got the fence covered. Um, that midfield position also covered. And yeah, okay. I'm happy. I think I'm gonna bring Tyrone in rather than Lincoln. And we're gonna go ahead and have another match. It's an away match this time. And here we go. And now we have Aaron and Maddie Holloway, supposed to be our star player. So let's have a look at him this game, see what he can do. Here he is with the ball. He goes for a shot, but it goes over at the top. So all we've done in this game is just change around the two strikers. I don't think we've done any other changes. Still all the same as before. We are currently still at the top of the league. With five games played. And four goal difference. So a key characteristic of this route one is that like they just lo like they lob the ball forward and then it's up to the strikers to do something with it, which has got its pros and cons. Um, it can generate a lot of goals, but it can also lose us a lot of possession. So so far we can't complain really. Okay, I don't think I need to do any changes right now, so let's carry on. Maybe let's keep an eye on ratings in this second half. I'm going to bring Tyrone in. I think the graphics in this version of the game are much clearer than what I was able to output from my MacBook in the previous version of the game. So they must have done something to optimize uh, res resources, um, the use of resources for this game. over the top again. We've got a free kick. At the post. Oh, that was a bit confusing then. All right, let's go for the rest of the subs. Uh, we're going to bring in McLean, and now I've got a decision to make, and it might be easier than I thought. I'm going to bring in uh, Thierry for, so we're gonna, just going to substitute the two wingers, see if that helps a bit. Very good so far the defense with keeping us safe. Sixteen goals, sorry, sixteen shots is five on target from the opposition. So our blocks have been successful so far. And here we are conceding for the first time, Connor Carty. 
he was coming. They were shooting a lot of our goals, so we need to do better. It was a very dodgy sort of clearance from Hotchkiss there. Luckily nothing came of it. Come on McLean, could have passed that ball forward. for a second one but oh god okay that went wait straight over the top of dino i think I, this guy's really like on his last legs isn't he so let's see what happened here there's a ball that gets lobbed to carty and then dino just did the, didn't manage to really see what was going on Showed up on the wrong foot. Okay, so McLean loses the ball in a silly way. Very good. Barnet. Oh. No consolation goal for us, it seems. They've got so many shots. Oh, I've got one constellation goal. Well done. Very good, Terry. Okay. And is there another? No, that's the end of the match. Okay, we've lost one. First, first match we've lost in uh, the start of the season. And it was quite a close one, to be honest, in terms of um, highlights and stuff. And, but definitely gave more shots away to... Bambury, but it still leaves us at the top of the table, so not too concerned. I'm going to go away now and play the rest of the season up until about January, and I'll catch up with you after that. Thanks so much for watching until the end, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and also check out Patreon. Take care. Bye-bye.